Now, in order to do that, uh, I will take an example of, 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 a, of an ongoing project. This is a European funded project uh, with the title METFAB. Uh, that really um, uh, serves as a, as a um, platform to address uh, what, what I'm talking about here. So we've got, as, as you can see here, a, a, a great number of, of participants. Uh, ranging from, from research organizations to small and medium enterprises. Um, and with uh, Philips and Jabel, uh, we have um, two organizations that, that uh, look at the, at the, at the uh, um, product introduction manufacturing side of, of the business. So in, in this consortium, we really want to uh, address the questions that are just posted. What you see uh, here, and this is a, uh, a slide I, I borrowed from from uh, from a colleague in the project. So we are going from from um, a fast learning phase uh, feasibility to to a manufacturing phase. And this transfer needs to be achieved. We need to um, start looking at the aspects of a, a, a device master record, which is the document that governs manufacturing, but also the design history file, which is the do uh, the documentation of all the. Um, design steps. So, how do we want? To, how how do we uh, uh, do this? And uh, what 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 is uh, the recommendation for for um, for a, if if you like a minimum quality management uh, approach that uh, you should uh, um, ad adhere to in any case? Obviously, the first uh, important step is the requirement specification. Requirement specification is the um, a design input, so it's 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 a, a formal document that defines what I want to design. Um, uh, formal doesn't mean that it has to be complex. In many cases, it's 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 a, a requirement document that is very closely linked, and this is this is the important bit also for the future to risk assessment. Risk assessment in this context. Uh, again, can be uh, kept on a reasonable level, but it has different, different, different components. It can be uh, as simple as a document, Excel, Word, you name it, uh, just uh, which, which shows that you diligently looked at the system, that you diligently looked at what what could go wrong in the system uh, from different aspects. So you have it uh, the the risks uh, from the user side. So what is the harm that my system can do? In, in worst case, I need to connect that to uh, 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 my my design, uh, typically done in a DFMAA. Uh, that's uh, a design failure mode effect analysis, which doesn't have to be a complex thing if you have done it once. It's just just a, a continuously growing uh, list of potential risks that I see, and and this this is something that uh, the MDR. Is is really focusing on in the future, uh, in the future even more than than it is now. And therefore, we recommend that that this instrument is used. Um, and uh, next to the design, I have my PFMEA, uh, a process risk assessment, if you like, and um, and the supplier risk assessment. With 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 these instruments, uh, which again can be kept uh, uh, on a reasonable level. I can I can uh, achieve a, a closed loop process that later in the production phase will allow me to to maintain my product. One of the things is that uh, the new MDR is requesting, and that we are also seeing in other countries, is um, uh, uh, that that there needs to be a market surveillance. So once I have my product on the market, I need to be able to assess what is happening on the market. If I see some uh, uh, some shortcoming on the market or some defects, I can go back into my risk assessment and uh, and see if I addressed uh, the risks correctly. What the regular uh, regulator wants to see is that you're aware of the risks. Doesn't have to, uh, doesn't doesn't mean that there is no risk in in a system. Uh, that, that's simply uh, never possible, but uh, you 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 assess it, you address it, um, uh, you review the impact of of certain measures on the on on the design, and this is something that that um, is a very firm basis of of uh, of what 
what uh, could present a, a minimum effort for design. Now, within the MedFab project, uh, uh, we are uh, we're practicing this together with with our partners. Um, so we have developed uh, 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 templates, uh, documentation templates, and we are executing this. We're training this a bit. Um, it is, if you have never done this, this is uh, this can be uh, a bit cumbersome. But I, if, for all technology providers who are looking at bringing a system to market, this is this is uh, what we rec can recommend. If you're interested, uh, the uh, MedFab Consortium um, uh, will be happy to talk to you uh, about the possibilities practicing this uh, uh, within this public platform. So that should uh, should give a good basis. So in 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 essence, the 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 um, the the thing to achieve is is not just the risk assessment, but traceability. So you need to show how you link a usability aspect. So use claim. What does your system do? How is that linked to the to the risks and the design? How are that are those risks related to the the risks in the production? And how can I um, when I have observations in the field, link this back to the usability. Uh, obviously, there are tools out there, but as an as an SME, you don't want to have uh, those expensive tools or can't afford to have those expensive tools. So you want to keep this uh, to to a minimum. And this is really what what we are, uh, what what this consortium is trying to promote. And this is what what I can highly recommend uh, uh, focusing on in in, in in the scope of a of a introduction of a new technology. So I hope that that gave a, a little insight um, uh, into, into how this can be done in, in, in practice. If you have any questions, please uh, do post them in the chat or we, we, we can talk about this later. Okay, thank you very much.